Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here and we've got ourselves a fight. In fact, it's a light fight. Yep, we've got your five top, let's call them budget night watchman specials, all right? These are the big hefty, usually take like D-cell batteries. Yeah, they make them bigger and they make them better and stuff. But, you know, we didn't want to turn this into an arms race. We could have, you know, spent, you know, all sorts of money. So we tried to keep it, you know, budget minded. I tried to keep them around the $20 price range. I went a little higher with the Maglite because it it's kind of the default de facto, if you will, uh, night watchman, you know, accessory. Every, every security guard's got to have the Maglite. It was always, in fact, it's, let's be honest, it's the one that, that started this whole niche to begin with. All right, and our contenders for this bout. Coming in from left to right, we've got the Lux Pro at a hefty 775 lumens. Topping off the list, we've got the Coast at 850 lumens. Next, we've got the, uh, the lightweight of the bunch, the Quantum only listed at 534 lumens. The Craftsman comes in at 700 lumens. And the Maglite comes in at a decent, respectable 625 lumens. Now, you may have noticed there was a little bit of sarcasm and uh, skepticism, if you will, in the old bear's voice. And that's because lumen ratings are, uh, they're kind of like horsepower ratings, all the other stuff. The, the companies that make it get to set it for themselves. There's no, you know, true industry standard. A lot of it's based off of the LED, or I should say the claimed specs of the LED that they use. But, you know, the back end on those LEDs are entirely different. They could all use the same LED for all I know, but it really changes based on the back end, their cooling, the electronics that they use, uh, what kind of battery setup and such. So let's see how these contenders fared, shall we? Okay, here are our five competitors. We've got the Quantum from Harbor Freight. The Craftsman from, uh, sold through uh, Lowe's. Probably can't find this at Sears. I think this is uh, the one that's made by Stanley Black & Decker. We've got the traditional Maglite. We've got our Super Discount Lux Pro. And we've got the Coast, which was kind of made famous by using, I think it was the Cree LEDs. Uh, they were super cheap, but uh, decent quality. and became really popular in the flashlight crowd. And yes, <laughs> there is a flashlight crap. All right, measurements on these. We got almost exactly one foot on the Quantum. Uh, just over, about, just over an inch and a half, almost an inch and five eighths on the Craftsman. Pretty much identical on the Maglite. The Lux Pro comes in at nine and three quarters, and the Coast at eight and three quarters. Okay, Quantum has a single LED. It has your tactical-like ridges, which are obviously very important. Feels fairly solid. Has a little bit of wiggle. Comes pre-installed with batteries. You have your button up here on the front. We've got a high setting, a low setting, and off. Comes pre-installed with three nine volts, basic aluminum tube and structure. Nice thing about this, because of this hexagonal base here, It will naturally come to rest. If you set it down, it's un unlikely. It's got uh, bevels up here as well as here. It's unlikely to roll on its own. It will, I mean, it will roll. It's rounded, but it's not like one of these is just going to roll off. Um, good construction. I like the, the switch up there. Pretty hefty. Would would get pretty tiring carrying this for a good long time. Of 
Craftsman. Again, it's got the switch in the same place. We got high beams, low beams, and seizure beams. Now this Craftsman comes with a unique feature called auto dimming mode. And what you're supposed to be able to do, apparently there's a tilt uh, sensor in there, is you're supposed to be able to hold down the button uh, hold the flashlight level it'll be on and then as you point it down it dims I guess it's so you could like walk with it held down and then bring it up real quick and have it automatically turn on this, this has got to be the worst feature I've ever seen it didn't work at all and when it did it just turned it on and off it didn't it, it just it was it was worthless this will roll not a problem it's got the tactical edge on it as well i, I really am not a big fan of those um it's not got as much grip in fact there's really no grip in the area where you'd naturally grip it there's a little bit right here but it's not like on the quantum where this whole area is textured the um it does feel good it's thinner and i think that's probably because of the battery configuration. You got six double A's, can go in in any way, and you got more tacticalizing on this end as well. Another single LED on the, on this. All right, the old uh, workhorse of this line is the mag light. This is every security night watchman's basic tool. Uh, you have a nice low profile switch so you don't accidentally hit it. On and off. Two modes. On and off. That's what you get. Pretty good, pretty solid. I do a rattle chest with this. Pretty good, pretty solid. This has also got... We got three D cells. Nice gasket ring there. We can get screwed together. Another single single LED. Good texturing right here. Not not very aggressive, but it, there, it is there. Unfortunately, this will easily roll off on you. The Lux Pro has a. You can hear something rattling in there. Um, I do like this. Probably has the most aggressive aggressive <laughs> aggressive grips. Uh, in fact, the part where it says Lux Pro. Is so raised it feels like there's actually a ledge there but I mean it's not gonna twist in your hand it will roll uh, but it's not gonna twist away it's got high beam and off two modes and it's got an interesting battery configuration It takes six and it's pre-slotted for them. And lastly, we have the Coast. Now the Coast is significantly smaller. I did find out that they do make a larger one. Uh, it wasn't available when I bought this, so this is the one we got. It feels a lot more solid. It seems to have a much larger LED, but that could be a result of the lens. Now this is the only one of this group that has a focusing beam on it. You can go from a wide area flood down to a narrow spotlight. You've got, sorry, <laughs> keep looking. The button's on the back, however. You have just on and off. Again, it's tacticalized on the back, but not on the front which is interesting. It feels pretty good in the hand. And as far as batteries, it uses six double A's. Okay, and I just wanted to test the stability with these sitting on their end as if you were working on something above your head and you needed it shining up hands-free uh, of all of these, only the mag light for some reason 
has a slightly rounded base that made it, you know, a bit wobbly and unstable. Probably get knocked over easily. And now let's get to the uh, the heart of the matter here. How do these perform in the dark? You know, that's what this is all about. So we're doing a blind test here. Sorry, the camera takes a second to focus. So I'm going to label these A, B, C, D, and E. And you could take a look at it and you can figure out for yourself which you feel has the best beam, has the best, uh, you know, clarity of light, and would be the most usable in the dark. Now I had wanted to do some round robin testing, but frankly, it was too cold. So I decided to pick the one I thought was the best and compare each of the other ones against that one. So at the end of this, you can tell me what you think I got right and got wrong. So A, I felt had, by far, it had the, the, the brightest beam and it had a clear... I don't know, image isn't quite the right word, but it was really crisp. The, you know, the edge of the spotlight was crisp. The, uh, the exterior radius was, was right there. Uh, would look good. So here's the results. And <laughs> you guys can argue about it in the comments section. But yeah, I, I thought the quantum had the best light. Uh, I, I thought the, uh, the, the mag light was right there, uh, uh, real close to it. But I thought the quantum, the, the spotlight on the quantum just, just seemed to be really clear and crisp. And, was, was, and at least in my eyes, when I was standing there, I don't know if it shows up quite as well on video here, but it seemed far brighter to me. One of the benefits of these flashlights, besides the light, is as a personal defense weapon. That's what you hear them touted as. So what way better to test that than to go full Gallagher with it? <laughs> you thought I was joking. I can't believe I'm doing this. Doesn't matter, beam on, beam off. I'm gonna do beam off because I'm afraid the light will, will blind the camera. These are pretty solid cantaloupes. I don't know what, if anything, these things are gonna do to it. Well, <laughs> that didn't work out so well. Now we're gonna go do it with the Craftsman. I fear the Craftsman's not gonna be as robust in this because it's not as heavy but being not as heavy it's going to move faster so I could be completely wrong I think this last one's gonna do it. Come on. There we go. I hope someone's hungry tonight. Time for ye old mag light. I have a lot of faith in this one, but this is a smaller, seemingly denser melon. Oh, wish me luck. That was three. Smells good in here. Now we got the Lux Pro, don't have high hopes for this.
Get a nice bruise there. Seen a crack. We're losing the seal. Let's go from the other side. There we go. We'll call that done. <laughs> Well, as you see, we have some damage to it, but it still works. All right, still works, and we're able to get the ring back in there. The things I do for you guys, gals. Oh, yeah, don't do that. This one's going to be a challenge. It really is. I'm worried about cracking my knuckles. All right, we're gonna go tactile side on it. And when that doesn't work, bring out the Warhammer. That was never gonna happen. It's also good for picking up chunks. Okay, that was a bit of fun. So besides the Warhammer, I have to admit that the, uh, the Maglite felt the best and in fact i think it feels the best in the hand out of all of them having used them i like the low profile button on it the the texture on it just seems better the quantum's a close second i i want to like the feel of the craftsman it's just so light that it, it's just it's off i really need to get the full-size coast in i'm gonna try and order that and uh maybe we can compare that later well there you have it what did you guys think well, hope, before you pass judgment, the Bears got some more info for you. So sit tight. We're going to go through a, a few more stats here. One of the things that's claimed by these is how long they last because, the, you know, they're LEDs and not the old incandescents and such. They last a lot longer with the, the batteries that are, are in them. So a lot of them make this claim that they can last a good solid eight hours. Let, let's, uh, let's see how they handle it. So here it is. I set them up uh, in the garage overnight, uh, turned them on. They all had fresh batteries in them. They were ready to go. And uh, this is a kind of a, a top-down view. It, it doesn't show much. So let's see how they, these lasted after eight hours. Well, here we are in the morning. We went from this to this. I guess I honestly, I was surprised any of them were still running uh, but I guess that's just, you know, the old bear here, uh, remembering the old incandescents. They, they all were pretty, pretty reasonably bright. I was really surprised. Now this is a view, uh, of them shining up on the ceiling. It gives you an idea how much brightness comparatively speaking they all have. Uh, this is the same order from left to right. We've got the quantum, the maglite, the craftsman, 
the uh, what do you call that one? The something pro, the Lux Pro, and the uh, the Coast. I'll I'll be honest. I was really surprised. And and yeah, it's there. You had no, it, it's it's like Pluto. You can't see it. They're maybe saying it's not a planet anymore. Now on the fifth one, it's all the way to the left. It's just that kind of vaguely lightish, fuzzy area. But it's there. That that's the coast. Anyway, I was surprised it didn't hold up better than it did. But as you can see, the other ones are still you know reasonably bright. Next, let's let's take a look. You know, I've hinted at before the the weight factor on these. And here's the Lux Pro coming in at one pound. 1.4 ounces the coast coming in at one pound one ounce even the craftsman at one pound 0 0.7 ounces yeah the second longest or tied for second longest i should say is actually the lightest there's the mag light at a respectable and hefty uh one pound 9.8 ounces and the quantum coming in at the top there one pound 11.6 ounces and then they are lightest to heaviest. Let's talk about price, shall we? So the Quantum, which is from Harbor Freight, this is and this is kind of what, what led to this video, is this is a, a newly launched uh, item. Uh, they've had this Quantum line that they've been filling out, and, and I found them uh, vaguely addicting. Uh, you know, for the price, this thing is listed at a regular list price of $20. There's a coupon out for $16.99. Uh, and, but you know what? Quantum's not listed on any of the exclusions on the super coupons. And the old bear here was able to throw in a 20% a off coupon and get it for $16. Yep. That, that was a nice little buy, I think, for $16. Next is the old mag light. Now, the, uh, I should point out, of all these uh, flashlights, the mag light coming in at $40 is not only the most expensive, the, it's the only one that didn't come with batteries. <laughs> so that ups the price of it, you know, even more. I got to say, though, the fit and finish on it is you, you can't you can't knock it one bit. It's smooth. It's elegant. It's efficient. And boy, <laughs> it took care of that melon. All right. Next, we got the Craftsman. I, I was a little disappointed in, you know, you pick up something that size, you expect it to have some heft. And because it relies on those double A batteries, it, it actually turned out to be the lightest one in the bunch. I was stunned. You know, it's second longest, lightest in the whole pack. Uh, $25 seemed a reasonable price. I got to say, though, Craftsman, th it, this just kind of feels like, you know, when you get the, the cheap power tools and they're like overbuilt, like over molded and stuff to make them look all tough and like super masculine and crazy. Kind of like, you know, like a Hummer H2 kind of design. It's like they're overcompensating for something. I mean, look at the Maglite. Streamed, efficient, nothing to it. This thing has little nodules and stuff on it all over the place. Uh, and and in the end, I'm like, the switch, the the, the little auto dimming, it didn't work. It just, you know, it just turned on and off. There was no dimming. And, it, and even then, it wasn't consistent. It would work sometimes, not other times. It was aggravating as all hell this was a real disappointment and again stanley what are you doing to the craftsman brand come on get your act together the lux pro now i i bought this actually at lowe's and for some reason i couldn't find it on their website so this is an amazon listing don't buy it from amazon i think i paid half that it had to be like it was it was definitely the cheapest well i guess it was the second cheapest uh i i think the uh I think it came in at like 16 or 17 dollars and it was a few cents more than the uh the harbor freight it definitely had the most aggressive handle where you didn't have to worry about losing or anything uh i was a little disappointed in the o-ring coming out during the melon uh, challenge but i was able to just unscrew the uh the cap there pop it back in and it you know went right in fine it wasn't permanently damaged or anything uh, i also found it difficult to naturally orient with the button because it's on this weird step up there i'm guessing because there's the grip then there's a the part where it says lux uh, pro and then there's a the part where the uh, the switch is it's this weird you, you're, you don't naturally find it. you gotta look and hunt for that button so that was kind of a drawback on that one and last was the coast i actually thought this was a, a reasonably well-made uh flashlight uh, it was 
uh, surprisingly so, as a matter of fact. I thought it was excellent build quality and everything else. I was disappointed with the light. Um, it does have the focus feature. It was nice to get a nice big broad uh, beam and such. Uh, if, you know, for diffuse floodlight kind of situation and be able to focus in. The flexibility is nice. But I don't know if it's worth paying that much more for. The construction w seemed okay, but in the end, and you saw how well it lasted with the uh, the overnight uh, longevity test. It, it, it barely kept up. So, I don't know. Anyway, what did you all think? What did you feel was your winners or your losers uh, are any of these going to end up in your shopping cart anytime soon? I realize a lot of you are going to be like, why didn't you test this? And why didn't you test that? And blah, blah, blah. Well, tell you what, if you want the bear to test it, you know, uh, below in the, the video description are uh, my contact information as well as the shipping to my P.O. box. Feel free to ship me anything you want me to test because <laughs> there's only so much the bear can Put on the old credit card before the wife starts giving him the side eye. You know what I mean? So anyway, leave your comments down below. Let me know what your vote for was the, the winner and loser in this one. Uh, let me know what other tests you'd like to see. Also, in case you missed it in the uh, discussion part of the page, I posted this picture yesterday. Yeah, the uh, Harbor Freight was kind enough to send me uh, three new Bauer boxes. We got ourselves the uh, drill driver set, the impact driver set, and an undisclosed. Yeah, okay, well, I know it is, but I'm betting you guys don't. So stay tuned. We're going to have a review of this and a full uh, unveiling here in the next week. I think next week. I, I think it's the first week of February. I think that's when the, we can release that video. So the, as you know, for those of you who have been wondering, there's a new Bowers and new Hercules stuff said. As I said, but you know, back around Thanksgiving, you know, end of January, February is when the stuff's going to start rolling out. And here we see it. So uh, I've got this and I got another uh, really uh, cool item here for you guys to check out. Uh, I, I would, sh I don't think there's any way I could even like Photoshop a picture. I just the whole box would be blacked out. But anyway, stay tuned. We got lots of exciting stuff coming up here in the Den of Tools. So don't forget to throw the old bear a, a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Hit that bell. Uh, I've had a lot of people saying recently that I'm not showing up in their uh, their subscriber page for some reason. Uh, uh, YouTube's been you know clearing out subscriber lists, and you know how that goes. So make sure you hit the subscribe, ring the bell. Uh, if you want to support the channel, uh, be sure to check out some of the merch linked down below. You all take care. Come back soon, and until then, shine on.